it's your girl Linda J back with another video and today as you see by the title we will be doing our Q&A as I stated in the first video that I wanted to do a Q&A so I put up on my IG to ask me some questions I actually was looking forward to some crazy questions too but I didn't get any qu crazy questions so we're gonna roll with the questions that we have is if this is your first time watching my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you are back from the first video, hey! <laughs> so, um, the questions that we got, I felt like was pretty, pretty good. They were like, you know, just getting to know me questions. So we're gonna jump right into these questions. The first question, I get this question all the time, guys. Like, literally, if I was to get rich off of this question, I would be rich by now. I get this question all the time. So the question, when are you having your baby girl? I don't know. I don't know. I say it all the time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. When God feels like it's right. I'm not, I'm not focused on that right now. I, I'm focused on other stuff. But if it happens, it's a blessing. Hey, we roll with it. <laughs> my next question is, this is from my friend, my dearest friend. Why are you so fine? That was sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Next question is, how tall are you? I'm 5'2". Short and cute. 5'2". I act like I'm taller, but I'm not. <laughs> Next question. Why is your forehead so big? This is also for my friend. If you're watching this, you know who you are. I'm not going to put you out there. But my forehead is... I was born with it. A short little story time. So growing up, my forehead used to be one of my insecurities. Like, I used to always get that. Oh my God, your forehead's so big. Your forehead's so big. So I used to wear bangs a lot to try to hide my forehead. But now, honey, mm -mm, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Show off this forehead. I actually like, I prefer hairstyles that shows my face versus hide my face. So yeah. <laughs> Next question. What's your pet peeve? Those who know, know. I think my biggest pet peeve is being clean. Like, especially if I just clean, just keep it clean. Keep it clean. If it's whatever, room, kitchen, car, just keep it clean. And we won't have no issues. Next question, coffee or tea? I am a tea girl. I'll do coffee if I feel like I need it here and there, but definitely coffee. And my faith, I'm sorry, definitely tea. See, look, mm -mm. tea. My favorite tea is the medicine ball. And I get that a lot. Like people will be like, oh, is, aren't you supposed to drink that when you're sick? No, I drink it whenever I want to drink it. And I drink it all the time. Like, my husband will literally come every morning with a large cup of medicine, medicine ball. And he knows exactly how I like it. If you haven't tried it, it's from Starbucks. Try it. Don't say I didn't put you on. You're going to fall in love. The bomb. Next question. If you could have dinner with anyone alive, who would it be? Family, friends. Yeah, my loved ones, the ones that I usually have dinner with. Next question. If you could have dinner with anyone who passed away, who would it be? My dad. Can't think of anybody else. My dad, definitely. What is your perfect ideal of a perfect date? A perfect day. Um, a day that consists of self-care like all day self-care literally not doing anything no work no school just self-care 
So wake up to some nice breakfast, nice big breakfast. It gotta be big. You know, for those who know, y'all know, it gotta be big. You know, some eggs, grits, shrimp, steak, bacon, everything. I know I sound greedy and fat right now, but a nice big breakfast. And then after, I'll do a spa, a nice spa day, something relaxing. And then after that, something fun and, you know, something fun and relaxing. And then after that, have a nice dinner and call it a day. Something just literally that consists, a day that consists of self-care. That's it. No, none of the extra stuff. I don't, I, I probably wouldn't even take no calls that day. Like, for real. <laughs> I actually need one of those days. So, the next question. What is a talent nobody knows you have? I feel like I could be a great event planner. I feel like I have the eye for events and I could put something together very well. Now, I know with things like, like with event planning, you have, it comes with stress. That's my thing. That's that's the thing I don't want to do it. Mm -mm. And, and those two kind of like goes hand in hand. So you just have to know how to deal with the stress very well like i have a friend who does event planning who does decor and all that and she's amazing at what she does and i always tell her i'm like mm, <laughs> girl I, it's just a lot it's a lot and i feel like my thing is like if i'm planning out something i want it to just go as i have it have how i have it envisioned in my head that's how i want it to flow and we know with event planning it don't always go like that like there's always a uh something happened something changed and i think that's the only place it would bother me but i feel like i could do it don't don't be asking me to set up nothing now <laughs> but I, I feel like i could do it do you enjoy shopping online or at the mall? I think I prefer online. I can do the mall. I think the only thing with the mall that I don't mm -mm, is the crowdedness, like too much going on at the mall. But what I like about the mall is that you can see what you're getting. You can feel what you're getting and you know, it's, it's right in front of you but if i had to choose it would be online only because it's so convenient you know it makes it makes life so much easier what's the last movie you cried to so this was a series on netflix it's called from scratch my friend put me on and i watched it and those who know me knows like if I sit there and watch something it's because it's good like literally the moment I turn on something to watch I'm asleep in two minutes <laughs> those who y'all know like it takes nothing for me to fall asleep but from scratch I literally stayed up until like one o'clock in the morning to watch it and man it was so good it's sad but it's so good if you haven't watched it, go watch it. You'll like it. Like, I like it. I actually watched it twice. So you know it's good. <laughs> have you shot a gun before? I have. I don't walk around just shooting guns. I went to a, a shooting range. But yeah, I have. It was, I think, I can see how it's like a... a therapy to people like you just go in there and just release all of your stress and all that extra stuff you have going on like I could see how it can be that for some people um but it was cool like I would definitely go again yeah how many countries have you been to I've been to two I think that's my biggest thing this year like I want to travel more I want to travel like I have a trip coming up and I, I can't wait I can't wait guys when I say I cannot wait I cannot wait 
like that's my biggest thing this year is traveling like i want to go to at least three or four trips this year that's my goal one of my goals what is your favorite place to go on vacation i would say an island i i don't mind going anywhere like i just feel like a trip is a trip like i i love seeing different places but i think if i had to choose it would be an island only because i just love the vibe you know i the beaches the i just i love that tropical vibe so that would be my go-to although i wouldn't mind going anywhere like if we go to a different state i'm okay with that but an island yeah have you met someone famous no i've never met anybody famous but if i had to meet somebody famous it would be michelle michelle obama she's dope i don't care what nobody say she's so dope to me like i love how humble she is i love her story like i just love everything about her she's so dope i would love to meet her any day let me run into her like and I always said, like, if I met somebody famous, I would not be like, oh, my God. I you know, like how some people be like, I'm, I'm about to pass out. I wouldn't do all that, but I would be very happy to meet her one day, one day, one day. Um, who is your favorite actor or actress? My favorite actress is Loretta Devine yes i feel like correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like majority of her roles is the motherly role and she always delivers i just i feel like she sits understand the assignment like she will she she delivers every time like you cannot and, and like i said correct me if i'm wrong but every movie that i watched with her in it she does so well like it's just so natural to her and I love that, love that about her. Like, she does what, what needs to be done, honey. Gotta give it to her. <laughs> How old are you? How old do I look? Comment down below and tell me. For those who don't know, how old do I look? I'm gonna tell you, but tell me how old you think I look. <laughs> I am 33 years old. I always get, what? You look like you're 19 or you in your 20s. I'm 33 years old and I'll be turning 34 this year in July. Cancers, to my fellow Cancers, cause you know, we are the bomb. The best Zodiac, let's, let's, let's not argue. <laughs> the bomb. What's your nationality? I'm Haitian. Haitian, boo. Haitian American. Haitian. Haitian, Haitian. Yes. Yes, ma'am. How long have you been married? Nine years. This year will make it nine years. It went by so fast like literally it's still I, I still can't believe that my first my second is going to be eight my baby is about to be five my first son my first love is about to be 15 like what where did the time go where like so crazy it just all flew by so quickly but yes me and my husband will be married for nine years this year definitely my person you know when you just know that's your person like I know I'm not I'm a lot to deal with I know I listen I know I am I'm not taking that for myself but he just makes it seem so like flawlessly like <laughs> and I know if he's watching this he's gonna be like but that's bae definitely <laughs> How many kids do you have? I have three boys, three handsome boys. Will that change anytime soon? I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm like one foot in, one foot out, one foot in, one foot out. One foot, I'm like, like this with it. But yes, three handsome boys. What's your favorite food? Ooh. For those who know, you know, I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie. Like, I love good food. That's number one. To answer the question, I love good food. My favorite, I got to say Haitian food. I, I, I have to say Haitian food. And it's not just because I'm Haitian. If you are Haitian, you know. If you're not Haitian and you haven't tried Haitian food, go try it. And come back and tell me what you think. Now, don't get me wrong. I love other stuff. Seafood, bomb. Bomb. There's very few seafoods that I don't like. Um, pasta. I'm fighting with that one. Like, trying to lay low on it, but it's so hard. It's so hard. Love it. Rice. Woo! There's so much that I can put out there. But my favorite... Haitian food, like somebody that really know how to cook some Haitian food. Woo! Yes, give it to me any day, any day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Haitian food, top tier, baby. <laughs> like top tier, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. If you have, like I said, if you haven't tried it, go try it. Don't knock me. Go try it and come back and tell me what you think. So that is all for the questions. I was actually looking forward to some crazy questions, but I guess y'all not crazy enough. I do plan on ha doing another Q and A, and then hopefully then you know we'll get some juicy questions. But. I like these questions that I got, like, you know, they were pretty cool, a, a, you know, a quick get to know me. Um, so yeah, that concludes my video. If you are new again, do not forget to subscribe. And if you're not new, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that notification bell. So whenever I post a video, you will be notified. Once again, thank you for your love and your support. Have a great day, guys. Woo!